how to make, list and sell NFTs on OpenSeas. Hi guys, in this video I'm going to be telling you about OpenSeas and how you can create and sell and list your very own NFTs on this website. And I'm going to be going over a detailed tutorial so make sure you stick around until the very end so you don't miss anything important. So without wasting any more of your time, let's just jump into the video. So the first thing that I want you guys to do is come over to OpenSeas.com and this is how the website looks like. Now over here, well, all you have to do is simply create your account. Now you can do that by going over to the profile option over here and clicking on my profile. And then all you have to do is just sign in using your wallet. Now you can use a couple of different wallets. So as this is the MetaMask wallet over here. So this is the MetaMask wallet over here. And if you want to use a different wallet, just simply click on this option. And over here, you can see we have a couple of more options. So we have Fortmatic, Coinbase, Bitski, Wallet Connect, Dapper, Ethereum, and many, many more. So you can choose whichever one you want, but I do recommend using MetaMask or Coinbase because these are really easy or even Fortmatic uh, because these two right here, MetaMask and Fortmatic have a, their own uh, extension for Chrome, which basically means is that whenever you come over to sites like OpenSeas, all you have to do is just simply click on sign in and then it'll open up this option right here this pop-up and then once you're over here you can just simply click on next but if it's your first time you just you have to create your own uh account on metamask and then once you have done that it's basically the same process as i'm showing you right now so as i showed you just simply click on sign in click on next and simply click on connect wait a couple of seconds and then it'll be connected and then you can sign in into your profile so this is my profile as you can see over here I haven't created anything or anything like that now mind you that you have to keep in mind that open seas is not free like it costs money basically it takes at least 2.5 percent of as a transaction fee for the first time and once it's done that then you can adjust your own percentage and stuff like that but for the first time when you are uploading and creating your nfts uh basically minting them you will have to pay the 2.5 percent fee of whatever you have selected a payment so basically if you have selected uh at least uh, let's say 0.1 ethereum then you have to pay at least uh 87 dollars i think yes i think uh or something like that basically a small that's basically the percentage of 0 0.1 ethereum so now let's check out the marketplace so if you click over here at the marketplace we can see we have all these different types of uh nft so these are pretty good at uh, good ones actually so we have illustrations we have gifts and doodles and then we also have 3d nfts as well so now if we look over here this is the pricing now this one is going over for a 100 ethereum now this one is for visitors of of i'm a Deegan. so this is the creator one i think this one is a verified collection so basically the these verified ones are going to be more expensive than the regular one i think but that also depends upon how they have sold it basically if it's an open bid then anyone can bid on a nft and the highest one will you know win it so we have all these different nfts and, and it's pretty cool now over here on the left side we have basically buy now we have auctions has offers and stuff like that basically we have filters that we can filter out different nfts so and over here we have stats basically rankings and activities basically this will show you top nft artists or top nfcs so this one is at the top right now so let's just check it out so if I click on this person's profile, these are the NFTs that this person has made. And to be honest, these are quite simple ones as well. Like there, there aren't a lot of graphical elements or details and stuff like that. So as you can see, it's pretty easy. Let's check out the second one. And this one is more of a doodle type and it's pretty and it's on the frog niche and it's pretty cool as well. So we can see that we have different types of categories and different creators on OpenSeas and it's pretty good. So let's just go ahead and create our own NFT. So to create one, all you have to do is simply click on the create button over here at the top right corner. And once we click on it, as you can see, MetaMask is uh, giving us a signature request. So let's just sign in sign it and then all we have to do is just drag and drop our nft now luckily i had created one before 
uh, I have used it before. I don't know if it will, you know, select it, but whatever, let's just use it instead. So this was the one that I created earlier. It's a GIF and it's, it's pretty cool. And I'll, I'll, I gave it uh, the, the white skull or the mosaic skull. Let's go with the white skull without the, you know, you. I think that 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 that's more like it now i don't have my own website as of right now so basically you have to enter in a external link this is how it pro basically this is pretty important this actually provides the information of the seller so if you have so if you are an nft artist then you need to have your own website and you can so that people can go over to your website and check out your style and stuff and so that they know that you are legit and you aren't you know a just fooling around and then down below you have collections you can choose different properties some levels some stats you can even have unlockable content and then if you have some explicit or sensitive content you should check this box right here so that people have a fair bit of warning and then down below you can change you can change your blockchains basically if you want ethereum or polygon whichever one you want it depends upon you so once you have done all of this all you have to do is simply click on create now once you click on create this is how it'll look like basically as you can see uh, it just says that i have created the white skull and now i can go ahead and share it and stuff like that so we can share these on different social media so that we have a higher chance of you know selling our nfts and we are more successful and then oh, once you have done that you will have a basically overview so this is going to be the overview of this uh, nft right here so as you can see the there is no trading data yet so that's because um it's not published as of right now so it's going to be empty there's no offer or listing or any other details and stuff like that so once you have done that and once everything looks uh ready all you have to do click on sell now as you can see over here we have to add a set price now either we had a set price basically what that means is that whichever price we said we're going to get that amount of money or we can choose the highest bidder basically we can add in a bid and the highest amount of bid that we want and the low and the reserve price as well so basically we can add in a high amount so that at least we get the highest so that whichever person reaches that price they they get this nft and then we have the bundle we can either group this nft with different uh, with uh different nfts that we have and then just sell it as a group but since i have only one we'll just leave that option so let's just select the set price and let's just go with 0.1 so 0.1 that's basically 300 dollars that's almost $360 and we can include an ending price as well. So basically if someone wants a ending price, basically a lower price, someone wants to negotiate and go lower, we'll basically go to 0 0.05 or 0 0.07, I think, yeah, 0 0.07. So that's basically it. And then we can choose the expiration date as well. So listing takes sometimes a lot of time or sometimes uh, really, really fast. So it depends upon the days and stuff like that. So what I suggest is you just give it an expiration date of a month. So basically you have a month of an expiration date. So you can test out when this option, when this NFT expires or not. Then you have the privacy setting as well. You can keep your listing public or you can specify one address that allow, that's allowed to buy basically a private listing as well so once you have done all of these once you have selected all the things and given all the details that is to your liking all you have to do is just simply click on post your listing and then your nft will be listed and it will be, and it will be published and then it's ready for minting or selling or which whatever you want to call it now as you can see right here i don't have enough ethereum or money in my uh metamask account so it's going to so it's saying that i have insufficient balance and i cannot continue so basically i can't continue from this point on but you get the gist of it so once you have done that as i said before you have to pay the 2.5 percent fee or whatever percentage of fee that you have selected on a lot of sites actually require this fee except for uh i think um mintable yeah mintable i think it does not require any fee it's totally free it does not require any fee or percentage or stuff like that it's totally free so if you want to go ahead and check it out you can go ahead on that website as well though i don't think it's as big as open seas though i think open sea is one of the biggest platforms for nft that is available on the internet so having said that if you have if you have like a sufficient balance you can just go ahead and x confirm it 
basically you can just approve the token and then just confirm the price and any price and then that is basically it your your nft will be live and set and ready to go so having said that if you have any questions please let me know in the comment sections down below and i'll be sure to answer them as soon as possible and if you guys enjoyed this video hit the like button so that i can know you guys enjoyed this video and having said that i will catch you guys in the next video and until then take care and goodbye